Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Witnessed Minecraft. I'm getting chased by phantoms. Yeah, I see you there, phantom. Um, yeah, uh, so I actually got a bed. I can actually sleep. Um, sleeping is no longer the issue. Uh, I found some sheep when I um, went on a journey in that direction, under that island over there. Um, yeah, they're getting burned down. I actually need to collect some of their membranes. Um, let me. Anyways, um, so welcome back. Um, so for this episode, um, to keep up with the, uh, I just happens to die on top there. Wait, do I not get any membranes if I don't kill them myself? So I just saw them. One of them die there. Anyways, um, to keep up with the theme from last uh, last episode. What I'm going to try doing uh, today is that I'm going to try to keep this episode within 15 minutes and also finish this whole map um, from end to end to capture the, oh, the whole island. Um, it might take me a few days, but it's going to be only one episode for you guys. So at the end of the episode, you're going to see that whole map being filled in. Um, as you can see, I did make a few mistakes of opening the same map twice on the same spot. So I need to be really careful when I open the maps, otherwise it'll just duplicate the same location twice. And it's not gonna be useful. In fact, uh, let's actually get rid of these maps. Oh, um, as you guys saw earlier, I found my diamonds, my first ever diamonds. And in to sort of um, celebrate our mistakes here, Let's actually make a, a flint and steel. Do I have any iron? I do have some iron. Um, let's get some flint. I thought I had some flint. Is it over here? There is one. Okay. Um, yeah, to celebrate our mistakes, let's just burn this in style. Like that. Okay, I don't want to burn my diamonds, but at the same time, I want to burn the map this this might be no exaggeration really but it's a symbol it's a symbol of I will not make any more mistakes bye good riddance they're gone all right so when you any guys gonna see this again gonna have a gonna make a lot of progress myself um while you're here let's actually make my enchanting table uh, so this is the first ever enchanting table you're gonna see i also good enough uh, obsidian to actually go to uh, the nether oh i actually need a book be right back all right all right i've been really unlucky um try to enchant and end up just getting unbreaking and that's a three um three lapis lazuli enchantment as well so a three enchant sorry it's three experience point enchantment as well so i feel like that was wasted anyways um so that's why i had to um i'm not gonna enchant this until i know for sure that i'm gonna get uh unbreak um silk touch because that's my silk touch uh, in fact i might just put it in back my i'll put it back in my uh uh, let's actually put it in there because that's my enchantment pickaxe uh, enchantment chest there um, Yeah, so what also also shown What I want to show you guys is the uh, my uh, Enchantment sorry my um, What do you call this the portal the nether portal? I don't know guys. I'm running out of words today um, Okay, all right No more mistakes I'm gonna cut some corners and like that. I think that'll work. Let's just keep the um or those two blocks back. Um yeah, if um if I have the time I'll fill those in, but um uh, I don't really have the time. Um yeah, let's let's go to the nether. Um so this is not the nether update, so this is still uh 1.15.2 which I believe is just one of the um, releases, post-releases from the bees and ducks update. 
Um, so this uh, this is going to be fairly uh, fairly boring, to be honest. Let's hope I don't spawn next to her. All right, so this isn't that bad. Actually, uh, let me wear my armor. I don't trust anything over here. Uh, so now this generating and it's gonna go be a bit slow but what I'm here for so I didn't actually tell you why I'm coming to the nether today um, so the only reason I'm here is to grab one piece of salt sand for my elevator my uh, water elevator I'm just looking to find the nearest piece of salt sand that's what you there uh, um, oh yeah so they got the uh, magma blocks also uh, do I see any souls nearby? Alright, so the nether is super laggy right now. I'm pretty sure that's because of the um, because of the chunk generation at this point. Um, oh yeah, so these mobs can actually push you, and the, you can also push the mobs as well. So I want to be real careful around these uh, edges, uh, ledges, really. Um, so there's some. There, but I don't want to go all the way there. Um, right, I'll cut to the ac actual pla um, place in the video once I find it. Be right back. All right, found some um, soil sand just here. Ooh. Oh, actually, look at that. So that's a uh, nether fortress right near the spawn. Um, that's pretty good. I'm just gonna grab a few. I don't know, a five. Yeah, that's two more than the nether. Um, uh, wither, I mean. I can, I'll grab more extra if I wanted to create a wither. So it was just down here. Uh, is that where I come from? I think this is where I come from. Uh, you can't really get lost in nether. It's just, it's no fun if, you, if, you do, if that happens. You need to some sort of, use some sort of a path finding way. To uh, I've I've gotten lost in Nether many many times, and it's no fun, guys. Especially if you want to find your way back, it's super hard and it's a lot of time wasted. But um, luckily, luckily we found our portal back. I'll be back in the Nether in the future, but um, not today, not today, my sir. It looks like. Looks like somebody came with me today. <coughs> Hello. Um, it's a shame to see these guys getting um, removed in the new snapshots. So if you don't know, um, the zombie pigman is going to get replaced by the zombie piglet. Is that what you call it? Piglet, I think so. Um, so this, this exact texture is not going to be there anymore. Uh, if you don't know, uh, this texture wasn't actually created by the original creators of Minecraft. This was sort of borrowed from the community. Uh, I can't remember the name of the person who created the pig, um, the zombie pigman skin. I can actually find the name of the actual skin, um, the create itself, somewhere in, in, the, in the skin where you can't actually see. Um, so that's cool. Um, anyways, um, so why did I get this soul sand? Uh, AC. Um, so I had this mine that I had to climb out every time and that was pretty manual and it took a fair bit of time and what I did was I spent some time creating a channel that goes all the way down to the uh, to the bedrock so you can actually simply drop down like, uh, um, like here but uh, you can also there's a water channel that goes all the way down there so if I um, so what, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly put in uh, souls and that'll create me an instant lift up as well it's down in there um do i want to do this on screen i'm pretty new about it but uh let's let's do it and there you go um all right so if you don't know why the kelp is there kelp sort of lets uh oh well there goes my calf um so the kelp lets um helps me to create what you call water source blocks in here making it um making it all the way water source blocks all the way up to the top. Uh, if I don't do that, um, what end up happening is that some of these blocks are not really water source blocks, they're just flowing water. And that's not gonna create uh, water bubbles. So that's why the um, kelp has to be there. Uh, let me bring the door, that's, this is why I brought the door with me. So 
the door sort of helps me uh, contain the water. Like here. Um, so if I wanted to wanted to just jump in, I can just simply jump in. Um, so I don't need that anymore. I can just simply place place my. Uh, why are you not working? Oh, there you go. Uh, and sushi. Oh wait. Okay, so only the uh, I need to grow more kelp. Looks like so it needs needs more kelp. Um. I thought I had enough kelp. Um, it looks like not. Yeah, it's about 64. Sorry, um, 48 deep. So that's uh, that's probably what I'm sure it will be right back. All right. Um, so I think it now it's kelp all the way to the top. If I break the bottom kelp, now it should be water source blocks all the way to the top. And if I just put it, simply put in a, a um, soil salt block, soil sand block, um, it should take me right up. And there you go. Pretty good. And I can just simply drop down. Takes me one second and rise just up. Um, yeah. That's pretty good. Um, like I can hold my breath all the way to the top, so that's pretty good. Um, I might even take this all the way to the um, surface, really. I don't need to climb this staircase. I don't know, I haven't thought of what this design is going to be. Alright, so the map looks um, almost complete. There's a few bits of the actual islands getting cut off from the map grid, but I think it's mostly in. Um, surprisingly, the actual island is not as big as I initially thought. Um, I might need to actually make the um, the witness island sort of extend beyond the edges of where the island is going to be. Uh, this is mainly because um, I don't think there's going to be enough space for us in this island. Um, I need to do some measurements. Um, I know one meter in... Um, one block in Minecraft is about one meter, and a typical character in Minecraft. Oh yeah, my I got my uh, armor enchanted. Anyway, so one block in Minecraft, like one uh, character in Minecraft, is about two meters. Um, two meters, I guess it's too too tall, but it's more of um, one seventy five meters. Um, let's actually see how tall we are. I think it's we're reaching about two blocks. Uh, um, almost two blocks, maybe. Yeah, it's about two blocks. As you can see from the edge of the item frame there. Anyways, um, yeah, I don't need to wear this. Uh, outside in the actual thing anymore. Um, so one block uh, is about meter, and which means, um, I'm not sure what's the um, the sort of the diameter, um, the the actual perimeter of the island from the witness is. So. Uh, I need to do some measurements there. Um, um, I wonder if there's a way to actually measure without without cheating on my fitness. Um, anyways, um, so um, from this island, anyways, I can see that um, we are sort of settled. Let me cover up. Um, we are sort of settled in this region up here. So this is where the uh, if you remember the map again. This is where the actual um, um, quarry is going to be, and some of the actual parts of the uh, the shady tree is going to be here too as well. But um, so that's where where I'm sort of trying to dig up from here. Um, it's a big region, but I don't think it's going to fit to be honest. But um, I'll have to see. Um, oh yeah, so those maps over there, uh, once again, uh, mistakes on my behalf. I know I said I'm not going to make any more mistakes, but but uh, these maps proves otherwise, and that's why we need to prove, pretty much burn them, burn them in the fire. I can't select them, I fall down. Die. And die. Oh no, come on. Die. Yeah, right. Uh, let's go. Alright, um, yeah, so I got, uh, I got some diamond gear. Well, just one. And I got some bookshelves up. Um, so that's pretty good. Get some enchantments up and running. I'm just waiting for this thing to 
give me a good enchantment. So right now it's just efficiency five, but I, I need um uh, silk touch. And uh, efficiency four isn't that actually that bad. Might even go for that. But um, I might combine the two when this is sort of low. But for now, I'm just going to enchant it for now. But um, oh, let's see what enchantments I'm going to get when I'm broke. I'm breaking three. Uh, that's actually not that bad. Um, if I could combine the breaking three and my enchantment four pickups, that will, that's an actual workhorse. Um, I'll think about it. But uh, I don't even have an anvil. So I need to collect a lot of iron. Um, and actually get a work, get on working. But um, as for our goals for this, you know, for this episode, surveying the island perimeter is pretty much done. I had to fill these two in, but um, I'm pretty sure you guys agree that it's pretty much done as well. Um, so I'm gonna just gonna take this off. Done. Uh, so the next one is about preparing the kelp farm. Now, um. What I was thinking initially is that it's gonna have to be underwater because I don't want to bring water up above the ground level. And this is actually not that bad I have a great um, place to actually do this. Um, like down here. So I think it's gonna work. Um, yeah, and I'm also gonna be making um, a sugar cane farm, an automated sugar cane farm up above the surface of water. So that's gonna work out pretty well, pretty well. Um, yeah. Um, if you guys wondering why I'm sort of settling up in the north, uh, this is because I'm gonna be building from the bottom and up, right? So I don't want to be destroying my home play um, where I'm settling down as I'm moving up, right? So if I started from the top and if I started to build from the top, I'll have to destroy my house and move around. But whereas if I settle up in the north. Um, I don't have to do that. I can just build up from the south to the north and once I get to the north then I can just pack up and leave. So that's why I'm settling up north but um, yeah I think I'll leave it at that. I think I've been, um, it's been a productive episode. Um, trying to keep 15 minutes episode length and also be productive. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye now.